Okay, having taken the first steps of identifying the target and uh, collecting some initial information, uh, then comes an analysis phase. And I suppose let's, let's pause for a second here before we get right into it, um, because uh, as I mentioned, the idea here is not to teach you how to break into systems, but what is it that you need to uh, prevent people from succeeding in an attack? So, in their identification phase, you know, make it more difficult to uh, uh, identify your IP address range. You know, use the 10 range internally and have... Uh, a lot of network address translation. Um, use a domain name, unless you are, uh, you know, important enough and dealing with the, the public enough that everybody knows your, your domain name, or rather, you know, use one domain name for your interactions with the public. Use a, a different domain name, not really giving away who you are uh, for your uh, internal work or uh, corporate work or um, the, uh, the functions uh, within your company that are more uh, critical and important and, and don't have to do with the public. Um, in terms of... Uh, the gathering of information, as I mentioned, you know, it's not just the technical information, but uh, the social information. And, and so, you know, don't make uh, your full directory uh, apparent to everybody, including who reports to who and, and identifying uh, managers and directors of different departments and offices. Um, just, uh, you know, the information that people will need to call that department uh, and you know minimize what you're giving away to the people because then they're they're going to be doing the analysis of the information they collected and as I mentioned you know they're they're going to be thinking of um, is uh, this a worthwhile target and there there is one of the uh, uh, laws of warfare, uh, which tends to be quoted as, look unimportant, the enemy may be low on ammunition. So, um, deal with the, uh, you know, mislead if, if at all possible. You know, you may want to uh, set up a honeypot and label it, you know, top secret missile, missile plans contained here. Uh, all credit card information stored here, unencrypted. You know, then again, you may want to do a double bluff and uh, put all your credit card information into the uh, top secret missile plan machine. But whatever, um, you know, some in, in terms of that gathering of information, uh, in so far as possible, either they reduce the information that they can get or uh, provide misleading information uh, in terms of what an attacker is going to be able to obtain and, uh, you know, thus protect yourself because then they're going to be doing the analysis. And again, you know, is this important enough? Is it, um, you know, how much... Uh, a effort are we going to have to expend to get something worthwhile out of this? Um, are uh, you know, what type of of uh, resources can be obtained from here? What type of resources have to be expended to uh, to uh, penetrate this system? So all that analysis. Um, we talked about the. Uh, operating systems and that sort of thing. Uh, identification of the operating systems gives uh, information about what functions um, and, and how we find out what functions 
are operating in these systems and and so what services are running what services are available to us are exploitable etc etc um so lots of uh issues there with regard to products and version numbers again um you know if you can uh hide that information or obfuscate it in some way good um a uh, list of user IDs, um, shared file systems, uh, you know, all, all of this stuff, if it can be obtained, all of that goes into the analysis of what type of attack they're going to launch and uh, how likely it's going to be successful. And so from all of that... Uh, it, it directs, you know, what is it that we want to hide uh, and how, uh, you know, how hard we, we want to work at hiding that information. How uh, much easier is the information going to make their, uh, their attack and increase their chances of a successful attack. So... Again, uh, yeah, this is part of our job. Think like an attacker. Uh, what is the attacker going to need? Um, at whenever possible, uh, prevent the attacker from getting the information that they need and uh, misdirect them, if at all possible.